So when you move into a new home, there's one thing that I would recommend, and here's what it is. What's happening, everyone? I'm Peter Waitsman, founder of Expedition Money, and I wanted to talk to you about moving into that new home of yours. Maybe it's a condo, a townhouse. Maybe it is your dream home. I know I have actually moved a couple times in my life, and one of the things that I have noticed is universal. It's universal to the people I've met, the people I see online, and that is that the garage is usually unfinished. Now, there are a couple reasons for this. You may be thinking, well, Pete, if I move into a new construction, won't my garage be finished? Or if I'm buying a house, won't they have finished the garage? Well, the reality is that new construction homes do not have the garage finished. And what I mean by that is that they have some drywall, they have taped the seams, they have maybe put a single layer of mud on the seams, and it is finished in that regard. But you'll probably see where the tape is, that there is plaster exposed, you see the white of the drywall, just different textures, different colors, and that is just universal in new construction. And the reason they do that is because it doesn't make sense for them to do that second mudding and then the priming, and then the painting of it, because no one really cares. Everyone seems to just leave it the way it is. And so while it would cost them three, five, seven thousand dollars $7,000 to do, they just don't do it. And no builder that I've ever met has mentioned that they actually do it. So it just never gets done. And then what ends up happening is that the house gets sold, the new people take over, they don't do it either. And so whether you have gone to a new home or an old home, you have probably seen the garage not finished. We're just so used to it. You're so used to walking through your friend's garage or pulling into your own garage and seeing those seams. And by the time that you have lived there a while, there's usually stuff all over. You've got cabinets, you've got things hanging on the wall. It hides a lot of it. You just don't see it anymore. And so one of the things that I would recommend, whether you're buying new construction, being the first person to ever live there, or you're buying a home that has been previously owned, which is most of us, and they have moved everything out. And before you move everything in, before you start moving in your boxes, I would give your garage a little finishing, and that's because this is probably the one time in your life when that garage is going to be empty. For me, I finished my garage. I did not do it when I moved in, and I regret that. I regret that. What we had to do at the time was because I moved everything out, I actually went ahead and did the walls. I actually put up a mural on one wall and some full bricks on the other side, and then all new cabinets, and then I did the ceiling. So once you have everything out, you realize, man, nothing is done in here. And it's really an opportunity to do everything. So the level of finish is up to you. But what I would say here is just finish the mudding if you want, and then just paint it. Now, all I actually did was paint my garage. And the reason I did that is because you can get now paints that have primer in it. They're so much better than the old paints that you actually had to prime, and then you could put down some color. So I would just get paint with primer. You could probably even use the paint that is meant for outdoors, like the exterior of your house, if you want it to be a little bit more durable. But I would just go ahead and paint it all because it's the one time that you're going to get that fresh coat of paint down, hide all of the atrocities from the previous owner, any exhaust smoke or splatter or dents or scratches or holes that they put in there for their tools or their pegs. So you get to hide all that, paint it. It's going to look nice. And every time you go out in the garage, you're going to have this bright white or gray or whatever you pick. And it's never going to be easier to do that than when you are moving in. And one of the other things that I might say here is that you have probably seen garages where the floors are epoxied or tiled or they're very nice. And that is almost impossible to do unless you are going to move everything out of your garage then. So if you really want that too, and that's not even what I'm saying, I'm just saying the coat of paint on the walls is something that will elevate your garage without investing a lot of time or money. But if you wanted to do that, this is the perfect time to do it too. Because otherwise, what I've seen from a couple of my neighbors have done the epoxy floors you have to pull everything out of the garage. It's going to sit in your driveway for probably two or three days because the company that's going to do that epoxy needs to sand down the floors, power wash it, degrease everything, put the epoxy down, let it cure. Sometimes it will add some flex to it and it just takes days. And what ends up happening is that not only do you have to move everything out, but then my friends had to put tarps over all the stuff that was sitting in the garage for a few days. So it looks like there is construction going on. And then they have to move everything back. And I'm not saying it's not worth it because that certainly does elevate a garage, a nice clean floor that's easy to sweep up, that's easy to power wash or mop up. That would be a serious improvement. It would be like having one of those showroom garages. So if you want to do that, this is the time to do it as well. If you want to add some of the hanging baskets and storage, this is a great time to do it. But at the very least, when you're moving in, you're probably saying, hey, Pete, I want to get all my stuff in when I buy a new place. I don't want to do construction. Well, this is the one time 
where it will probably take you an afternoon, get your paint rollers out, do the edges. You probably don't have to be super clean about it. A drop cloth just laying on the ground where you're painting is probably good enough. If you do drop a little splatter on the concrete of the garage, it's probably not the end of the world. But once you start putting stuff in there, once you have a few boxes of stuff, once you start putting stuff on shelves, man, the amount of work that you're going to need to do to get all that stuff out to do the painting in the future is just going to be exponentially harder. So in that transition, buying a house, the one improvement that I would suggest everyone make, if the previous owner didn't make it, is go ahead and finish that garage, paint it up. It's going to be something that you're probably pulling in and out of every day. It's a room that you're going to experience regularly. And just to have it finished and nice, as opposed to it perpetually looking like people have slapped up some drywall and it's half done, this can be a little bit of effort, a little bit of money, and have a big dramatic impact for as long as you live there. So that's my one piece of advice, having been a homeowner a few times now. Before you move all your stuff into the garage, paint it. Hopefully that helps. I'll see you later.